हेलो एवरीवन सो वी हैड डिस्कस अप टू ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ द चैप्टर टू ओके प्लीज कमेंट इन द चैट बॉक दैट इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग वट एवर क्वेश्चन वी हैव डिस्कस दोज हु डू नॉट हैव एनी इश्यू ट्राई नो टूडे आई हैव टू एक्सप्लेन फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट ओके प्लीज कमेंट इफ एनी बडी हैज एनी डाउट रिलेटेड टू वट एवर वी हैव डिस्कस ओके so suppose this is your uh, this is your opening so whenever you make a opening for your underground this is your circular opening so whenever you are opening uh, so some stress will be induced hai na so so this is sigma theta uh, this at r distance this is your circular opening तो स्ट्रेस एट एट द नियरेस्ट पॉइंट और द इन द पेरेफेरी ऑफ द यूर ओपनिंग विल बी द मैक्सिमम व्हेन यू गो फार फ्रॉम योर पेरेफेरी और पेरीमीटर इट विल बी रिड्यूज तो एट पेरेफेरी इट विल बी मैक्सिमम एंड सो आफ्टर फ्रॉम दिस पेरेफेरी व्हेन यू गो फार फ्रॉम द दिस पेरेफेरी the stress will be reduced at the periphery the stress will be highest okay for the most explanation this is your opening if you have taken this as the element this is your element then sigma sigma rr is denoted this and sigma theta is this and this is your shearer stress for betterment it this is your opening and this is your element then sigma rr this is your sigma rr and this this will be your sigma theta and tau of r theta is like this so for that we have to just for the our numerical part we should need some uh, formulas of sigma rr which is p by 2 1 plus k 1 minus a square by r square माइनस वन माइनस के वन माइनस फोर ए स्क्वायर बाय आर स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री ए फोर आर फोर कोस टू थीटा एंड सिग्मा थीटा थीटा वी हैव सीन दिस इज योर सिग्मा थीटा थीटा एंड दिस इज सिग्मा आर आर सो वी हैव सीन सिग्मा आर आर फॉर्मूला एंड नाउ सिग्मा थीटा थीटा So sigma theta theta formula will be p by 2 and 1 plus k 1 plus a square by r square plus 1 minus k 1 plus 3 a 4 by r 4 cos 2 theta and sigma r theta equal to what was the sigma r theta the radial to r theta or sigma r theta p by 2 1 minus k And one plus two a square by r square minus three a four by r four sine two theta. These formula are important. You should remember. So this formula will uh, because many questions ask in the gate examination based on these formula. So you should. नो तो कैसे याद रख सकते हैं सो सिग्मा आर आर सिग्मा थीटा द रिलेशन दिस आर द सिमिलर दिस आर द सिमिलर देयर बोथ हैव सम डिफरेंस दैट हियर विल बी माइनस इट विल बी प्लस अदरवाइज इट विल बी सिमिलर हियर आल्सो द साइन इज डिफरेंट अदर वैल्यू इज सेम एंड इन दिस वैल्यू For sigma r r, one extra value is coming, but for sigma r r, you just don't need this one. So like that, you can correlate both of the term and try to remember both the formula and write or remember these formula. Okay. so how this formula will be work 
सपोज यू हैव ए ओपनिंग सपोज दिस इज योर ओपनिंग ओके सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द पॉइंट ऑन द बोर्डर हियर 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 एनी एनी वेयर सो वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द सिग्मा आर आर सिग्मा थीटा 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 सिग्मा आर थीटा सो इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आर इक्वल टू ए ओके देन हाउ यू विल फाइंड आउट देन द सिग्मा आर आर सिग्मा आर आर वेन यू पुट आर इक्वल टू ए सो आर इक्वल टू ए दैट मीन्स इट विल बी आर सो आर स्क्वायर एंड वेन यू पुट वन तो वन माइनस वन this all value will be zero here also it will be minus 4 1 minus 4 and plus 3 that means it will also become zero so uh, sigma rr value will be zero at r equal to 1 okay so when you put r equal to a equal to r the first value will become zero and when you also put r equal to a it will also become zero then you will get r sigma r r equal to zero and for sigma theta theta uh, when you put r equal to a then it will become p by 2 1 plus k and 1 plus r square by r square plus 1 minus k 1 plus 3 r4 by r4 cos 2 theta so it will become p by 2 1 plus k and it will become 1 1 it will 1 1 1 2 1 1 2 1 minus k and it will be 4 and cos 2 theta so our value will be sigma theta theta when you take two outside so it will cut down by 2 so p 1 plus k Plus one minus k cos two theta. That means sigma theta theta at the periphery will be this value, and sigma r r will be zero at any point on the periphery. And similarly, sigma r theta when you put r equal to a in this equation, it will become zero. It will come two. It will three one, so one plus three 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 minus three zero, so sigma r three will be also zero. So at the periphery of your opening or at the perim, peridhi pe jitne bhi point hai, un pe sigma r r zero hoga, sigma r r r theta bhi zero hoga, sigma theta theta ki value ye hogi. Okay, and just remember these point. You should remember this point, this formula as well. ये तो याद होना ही चाहिए. After the putting r equal to a, this value you should also remember. Please comment. Do you have any doubt regarding this? This formula you should know. Okay. And. one two formula i should also give you like sigma c and sigma t what is sigma c sigma c is uniaxial compressive strength and sigma t is the uniaxial 
टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ एंड फाइव इज द एंगल ऑफ इंटरनल फ्रिक्शन सो वेन एवर ही विल आस्क द कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेंथ एंड टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ रेशियो then you will write down 1 plus sin phi divided by 1 minus sin phi just remember this formula so whenever he will ask you use this formula and one two form and i already told you e equal to e is the 2 z 1 minus 1 plus nu Where this will be your poisonous poisons ratio. We already discussed this formula, okay? And E is the Young's modulus. And what is the G? G is the shear modulus. So one formula of the Young's modulus. You will remember this, and another formula will be e equal to three k one minus two nu, where k equal to. Just remember these two formula. So whenever they ask, they can compare both of them on one of the value. They can ask you, and another one formula is. Whenever they ask you the horizontal and vertical ratio, means horizontal and vertical stress ratio, it will be V minus one by V. What is the this? This will be your Poisson ratio. And what is sigma H, which is horizontal? Stress and sigma v will be the vertical stress. Okay. यहाँ तक कोई दिक्कत है तो आप बताओ. Then we will come back to our questions. If anybody has any doubt, comment on the chat box. Those who are new in this class. Uh, because we have already completed chapter one, so they have they have to watch in the recorded format, and यहाँ से आज से वो live class ले सकते हैं और पीछे का साथ साथ में कर ले क्योंकि अभी बहुत ज्यादा time नहीं हुआ है केवल chapter वन हुआ है और chapter टू chapter टू का अभी केवल theory हुआ है और कुछ पंद्रह बीस question हुए हैं we will discuss up to हंड्रेड question of the chapter टू so please go today itself those are those who are new and first cover the theory of the chapter 2 and go try to cope up with the our live class and simultaneously or in the sunday or after the class you can watch recorded video of the chapter 1 which we have already taken and discussed in the live class ठीक है जिस जिस को कोई डाउट हो उस क्लासों में पिछली क्लासों में जो नए हैं वो भी चैट बॉक्स में आप कमेंट uh, करके पूछ सकते हैं कि uh, उस क्लास में आपको क्या समझ में नहीं आया है ना सब लेक्चर का नंबर है कि, कि कौन से लेक्चर में आपको कोई डाउट है तो आप पूछ लीजिएगा मैं बता दूंगा और कोशिश करिएगा कि जितना हो चुका है चैप्टर टू का आज ही जाके थ्योरी कवर करें और उसके बाद में आप न्यूमेरिकल सोल्व करने लग जाएं और कल या परसों से हमारी लाइव क्लास में कॉप अप कर लें है ना मतलब उस रफ्तार से चले जिस रफ्तार से हम चल रहे हैं ठीक है नाउ कम टू कम बैक टू अवर क्वेश्चंस 22 वन मोर वन मोर फॉर्मूला आई वांट टू लेट यू नो वेयर वी वर डिस्कसिंग uh in the one of our class we had discussed about the major major stress 
and minus phase if you have revised properly then we had discussed major stress and minus stress okay so if this is your uh sigma 1 major so if something is the this is your failure surface this is your failure plane so there will be sigma and this will be your tau then the relation for the sigma 1 major and minor for the the normal stress normal normal stress normal stress along the failure plane will be sigma 1 plus sigma 3 Sig sigma 1 plus sigma 2 divided by 2 plus sigma 1 plus sigma 3 divided by 2 cos 2 theta just remember this formula also so today we had discussed one formula this this formulas and you can also remember this and out of these formulas few we have already discussed and few formula we had discussed today come come to this questions try this question you have a 30 seconds then i will start to discuss it jo jinhone pehle kabhi kiya hai wo kar koshish kar sakte hai take a 30 or uh, so in this question they have said the circular opening in the, in a biaxial stress field is and so on with the sv and ss being the vertical and horizontal compressive strain that means sigma v you can and this will be your sigma h respectively the point a under the tensile stress when so you have to find out the ratio between sigma v or sigma h so how you will find out as we know first k is the k is the sigma h divided by sigma v or here s h by s v we have to find out the ratio or the value of k okay so what we will do so uh, the point a point a is on the periphery we know the formula which is the formula sigma theta theta will be zero sigma rr i am talking about this formula sigma rr zero sigma r theta zero sigma theta theta sigma rr zero sigma r theta zero sigma theta theta sigma theta theta so what will be formula formula will be sigma v 1 plus k plus 2 of 1 minus k cos 2 theta so this a is the if this is your a then it will be 0 degree if it is it was here it was the 90 degree and if point was here it will be 180 degree so a is the for the a for point a theta equal to 0 to yahan pe jo a point hai uske liye theta 0 hoga and ye hum pehle hi dekh chuke hain ki direct formula for perimeter for a point at perimeter or okay for a point at perimeter we know the formula so when you put 0 theta equal to 0 so we we can solve it sigma equal to s v and it will be 1 plus k plus 2 1 minus k cos 0 this will be cos 0 and it will be s v 1 plus k plus 2 1 minus k because cos 0 
from our uh, table as we, uh, we have discussed when you form a table if you know the table it's good for you if you don't know the pair table you should remember the you should remember the table so at a cost zero our value will be one so when you solve it as we it will become three minus k it will be sigma so at a a the circular in the by x one stress field is the shown uh, vertical and the horizontal stress respectively the point a is under tensile stress so he is saying that under tensile stress point a pe kab tensile stress hoga tensile stress hoga that means sigma is greater than 0 two type of force compressive stress and tensile stress so tensile stress when the sig minus sigma theta i will write it dekho kabhi bhi hai na koi point hai maan lo ye point a hai is pe kuch compressive force aur tensile force kuch kaam kar raha hoga to is in this question he is saying that a is a is under the tensile stress when so that means minus tensile ten for the tensile stress we are using minus one if it was the compressive then we were using just sigma so as we know sigma is minus sigma should be greater than zero that means as v 3 minus k should be greater than zero that means as v 3 minus k less than zero which means which means what it means as we is zero then 3 minus k less than 0 that means k is greater than or greater than or equal to 0 when the k is greater than equal to greater than equal to 3 when k is greater than equal to 3 as we know k is the s h by s v Greater than equal to three, as h greater than equal to three s v, as as three s v. Please let me know what if you have any any doubt. I will explain it again. If you, देखो uh, in this question what was going on. देखो a was the periphery on the periphery. So as we know the sigma at a periphery. Formula will be as v one plus k plus two o one minus k cos two theta. We know at a, this a and a was at a zero degree. So we were talking about so four point a. Theta equal to zero degree. So, so we can write down sigma one plus k plus two one minus k. So cos zero is one. This will be sigma and as we know, this is the tensile stress. Sigma a is y. सिग्मा ए पे अगर टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस होगा दैट मीन माइनस सिग्मा शुड बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो वी आर डिनोटिंग माइनस वन एज ए टेंसाइल सो माइनस सिग्मा शुड बी ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो व्हिच मींस सिग्मा वैल्यू इज दिस सो एस वी वन प्लस के प्लस टू वन माइनस के ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो अब यहां से हम करेंगे तो वन प्लस के प्लस टू माइनस टू के लेस देन इक्वल टू जीरो यहां से आ जाएगा थ्री माइनस थ्री माइनस के लेस देन जीरो तो के ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो तो एज वी नो के इज द एस एच बाई एस वी 
greater than 3. So greater than 3. So SH equal to 3 of SV. This question was sim simple. If you know the formula, otherwise aap nahi sol kar sakte, to please remember this formula. To watch the complete video, download Mining Gyan 2.0 app from the Play Store and enjoy seamless learning with Mining Gyan 2.0.